Hello everyone and welcome to this short Edmodo tutorial which will show you the basic features of the Edmodo app. In this tutorial, I will focus on the features which allow us to create content and send assignments. Uh, why do I want to create a tutorial on my phone? Simply because I believe that many features would benefit from knowing what kind of features uh, does uh, the Edmodo app actually have. And this way we can make a difference between the Edmodo we use on the computer and the Edmodo we can use on our phone. Hence, in order to actually use the Edmodo on our uh, phones, we need to know uh, what is missing and we need to know what can we expect. To start, let me quickly enter my password and we will see how does the home page look like. Oops, give me a second, please. Okay, when we log in, we will see the stream. In the stream, we will see everything uh, that is posted by our groups, our uh, connections, and our students. After that, we have, uh, we have an option for classes, messages, discover, and notifications. In the classes, we, of course, see all the classes. What is interesting is that we can create a class and we can join a class from our phone which means that the students can do completely the same. So if our students click on classes and then click on plus, they can join the class. Messages work the same. And the next one, uh, the option which is the most important for me is the content creation. I'm going to go to my classroom and I'm going to just show you a, a, a few things that we can do on our phones. So let's give it a shot. First here, when we click plus, we have two things, new post and new assignment. I'm going to try and make a new post. Uh, we have four things available here. The first one is adding a link or adding a document from the library or your device. I suggest that you, uh, put, uh, that, that you put documents in your library because a lot of teachers do not have documents on their phone. I'm just going to use uh, one of my articles and of course you need to write text and I'm just going to write test okay uh, another thing that you can use is photo so you can put a picture that you already have or you can take a picture or a video directly now this is very amazing uh, why because there are teachers who definitely love to use their phones more than their computers if you're not very good at uh, writing if you're not very uh, eager to write a lot you can share spoken instruction via audio with your students directly from the Edmodo app uh, the next part is polls you have to you can create a poll and ask student students anything directly from your phone finally last but not least something we don't have on our uh, don't have on our computers is the sketchpad which I love uh, because you can. Why am I writing a dodo? It's moto. Uh, because you can write short messages, you can doodle, and you can send the doodles to your students as a way to, to start doing something, as an invitation for something. Uh, I'm not going to post uh, any more posts because they're going to spam my students, uh, but you can just click on this button on the top and post them. If you want to change the group in which you're posting, uh, the Edmodo feature allows you to post in your other classes and in your other groups uh, right, right uh, from directly from the post. It doesn't matter in which class you are actually. Last but not least, another thing that I want to show you is creating assignments. Now, you can write a title, which is test. Due date, set a date. Then uh, assign to groups uh, or classes as you wish. You can log it after the due date, you can post instructions, I'm just going to write test, and you can add an attachment. If you're not very much into typing, as I said, from your phone, you can take a new photo or video and send a video instruction to your students. Or uh, if you already typed it in your, uh, in your, on your computer, you can just uh, upload it to your library and add it directly from your library. So in order to send 
uh, some kind of instruction you can definitely record a video which would be this was probably one of the best things you can do in this case after you add the attachments just click on create uh, what is going to happen a task uh, is going to show and a picture is going to show in your uh, in Moto class and all of your students will see it uh, you will be able to see who didn't submit it and you will be able to see the students who submitted and what they submitted i think it's an amazing feature uh, to create quick assignments on the go in case you cannot access your computer you cannot make quizzes but still i believe that creating quizzes on the phone can be a, a little too hard so there is no need to actually force at modo and create assignment uh, create quizzes on your phone another thing that you can do is create a new folder uh, you can also create small groups okay the only thing that you cannot do in the Edmodo app is actually add new students finally uh, what can you do in this case uh, the only thing that you can do is to remove a person from the class and change their access role so you can uh, change uh, them from being a student to being a teacher uh, that would be all in this short Edmodo tutorial uh, in which we mentioned uh, Edmodo features uh, and Edmodo app features uh, focusing on content creation and assignment creation. Thank you for watching the Edmodo tutorial and please share your comments down below. Bye bye!